in this video i'll show you how to perform survival analysis in sas make sure that you have gone through my video on survival analysis theory how to use proc life test in sas to do uh, the kaplan meier estimation just to remind you kaplan meier estimation is one uh, estimation method that is used to estimate the uh, survival function then we will learn how to uh, interpret the product limit uh, table uh, which comes as part of the result in the uh, estimation process and then finally we will learn how to interpret the survival curve for this illustration i have taken a medical data set <coughs> there are 500 patients who have gone through uh, gone through uh medication medication and uh, the medical uh, authority wants to know that uh, how many of them are surviving uh, beyond a certain period okay look at the data set that you can see on the screen uh, id is the uh, customer id or oh, sorry uh, the uh, patient id uh, i have got uh, one one to 500 so there are 500 patients in total length of follow means uh, <clears throat> till what time uh, they were in the study the, the patient was in the study uh, then f start f start is the status of the patient zero is surviving one is uh, you know the person died so uh, the event of interest is dying or death uh, as you know survival analysis is uh, a kind of modeling where we model the uh, time to event so uh, if you see look at the uh, patient four uh, the status is one that means the patient has died at what time at 297 seventh day from the uh, date of medication so uh, what is the sensor variable in this case the sensor variable is the f stat uh, you will see so many cases where the patient is surviving and uh, uh, or or the patient has dropped uh, dropped out from the um, study okay uh, and these cases are censored cases f stat is the variable that shows whether the patient is dying or it's surviving or it's drop dropping out okay let's close the data set uh, it is always good to uh, do the frequency table uh, to know the distribution of the events and non-events and uh, the minimum maximum of, of, of the time period Mm, uh, the length of the time period that is followed so i assume that you would do it before doing the analysis you have to use the proc means proc frequency to do the uh, exploratory, exploratory data analysis before doing the modeling work i'll straight away go to the modeling proc life test data medical uh, i'm going to i'm going to write here at risk so this is an option uh, which gives you how many people or how many patients are at risk at different time point and then i'll plot the survival function then time length follow f start zero let us understand uh, the syntax proc life test is the proc that is used for uh, for estimation estimating the kaplan meier function at risk is something that is used to know what is uh, the count of uh, patient um, at risk at different uh, time uh, time points and then we use the plots for plotting the survival function in time uh, we we need to mention that uh, what is the time period of following the particular event uh, length follow or l e n f o l that particular variable is our time uh, or the duration for which the patient is uh, under study and then f start f start is nothing but the censored variable uh, and what is the value that so censoring well it's zero if it is one then the event has happened what is the event in this case it's death if f start is one then the patient has died within the uh, study period if it is the, if the status is zero it hasn't died or it's it's a sensor case we have no clue what is happening with that patient uh, after the uh, study period and then run let us run this um, you can see on the screen uh, uh, the product limit survival estimate let us understand this first uh, number of people at risk number of patients at risk 500 in the zeroth time uh, 
uh, everyone has read, is, is at risk nobody has died um, then in the first uh, day on the first day uh, one person died and then second person died and gradually uh, eight person in total died on the first day not eight it's uh, yeah it's eight eight person died so on the second day before the second day eight people have died in the first day itself so total number of people who are at risk in the second day is 492 now survival probability is one in time zero that means the probability that individual will survive beyond time zero is one everybody is going to survive but after time one when eight people have died the uh, survival probability decreases obviously because people are dying now uh, and then the probability of surviving beyond time one reduce and it is reduced to 0.98 and then there is a corresponding failure also failure means your death survive uh, it's the complementary it's just 1 minus 0.984 is your 0 0.016 so uh, your failure rate is like 1 minus your success rate or your survival rate okay in the time period 2 again 8 people are dying so for the time period 3 your survival probability decreases to 0.96 and so on it will go on decreasing decreasing and then uh, the number of people at risk is is going to go down with time uh, and there will be a point this will go on till uh, the number of uh, time points we have we are having in total 2358 time points um, till till that time point we will be observing what is happening to these uh, patients and how many people are, are at risk and what is the survival uh, probability and uh, so on <coughs> the survival pro probability as you know it's unconditional probability that means it's not conditioned on the fact that how many people have died uh, previous to that so it's completely independent of that um, all you know that what is the probability of survival beyond a particular time t that t will varies from 1 to your uh, your end end of the period you have more than 2000 so from 1 to 2300 uh, time point uh, when you plot this uh, survival probability at each point each time point you get a survival curve you can see on the screen in the x-axis is the survival distribution function which takes uh, value from 0 to 1 uh, it's, it's nothing but the probability um, at time 0 everybody is surviving so the probability of survival is 100 percent or is one okay but at time goes uh, the survival uh, value or the probability uh, goes down gradually and uh, by the time it's uh, the 500 uh, 500th day of the uh, study you can see uh, 25 percent of the population have already died only 75 percent are remaining or uh, in other words how do we interpret this well beyond the 500th uh, beyond 500th day the probability that a patient is going to survive is 0.75 similarly uh, at uh, 1000th day you can see on my marker 1000th day uh, the probability is somewhere around 0.65 um, so the probability that a patient is going to survive beyond thousandth day is 0.65 uh, similarly uh, it's 0.5 on the 2000th day okay that's how we interpret the survival uh, uh, survival curve uh, why is it so interesting to us because we get to know that uh, how the events is happening at what rate it is happening we can compare different survival curves across different uh, uh, you know um, uh, different uh, you know categories for example we can do it for male and then do it for female and then compare how do we compare we compare in such a way that what is the mortality rate and how do we uh, see a difference between male and female population so these are the cases where we use the survival function and um, <clears throat> one of the peculiarity of the survival model you, you might have already uh, have this question in mind that what is your dependent variable what is your independent variable usually we always want a dependent and independent variable in the model but we don't have it here so what is the uh, reason and uh, what kind of a model is this 
well this is kind of an univariate analysis where we just need one variable for us we just need uh, in fact it um, the only thing that we need is the status of the uh, patient and the length uh, length of the time uh, followed uh, so there are two variables um, and then we just plot it by taking the unconditional probability that is all we are doing it here and Kaplan estimation is is the one that we are using it here uh, very simple but very powerful analysis the same thing can be replicated in other fields also uh, uh, we, we are analyzing death here we can analyze anything any event in the credit risk industry we can analyze default we can analyze delinquency we can analyze uh, bankruptcy uh, payoff liquidation so many things similarly in the uh, in the marketing industry we can uh, analyze when is the customer by purchasing so purchase is the uh, event when is the customer leaving the uh, company or uh, uh, you know being loyal to company so these events can also be plotted as a survival curve and we'll get to know at a portfolio level that what is the percentage of uh, customers who are uh, surviving beyond a particular time point okay so that gives a fairly good uh, idea about how the you know the business events happens across the time period and it really uh, is helpful taking uh, in very important decisions that's uh, pretty much about the Kaplan-Meier estimation we can of course go on to the uh, more complex estimation method uh, and then a uh, couple of things we can do we can uh, compare survival analysis plots across different categories and check it out uh, that uh, we will see in a separate session for this session uh, that is all we will learn thank you